So let's see the human eye and the colorful world physics chapter. So we all know what is the uh, function of eye, right? Correct. It helps us to see. That is one thing. So the questions which are going to ask for the exam point of view. Okay. One will be the correction. In the sense, I think you are well aware about myopia, hypermetropia and all. Correct. One question will be based on correction and second thing will be based on prism. And then there will be application level based questions. Okay. So I will be mainly discussing through the CBSC pattern how the questions will be asked. And later on I will discuss about which are not that important. Okay. Yes. So I'll write it down here. So the most important thing in this is we all know what Vibgior, right? Vibgior we know through the prism. So a white beam light will enter, correct? Enter the glass prism and what you are getting basically? We are getting the white light and this white light is made up of seven different colors. Correct? And we can see violet and red. Violet and red. Yes? So they might ask the question, what is dispersion? So splitting of the white light into its seven constituent colors to form a band of seven colors is called what? Dispersion. That is there in this paragraph. Once the class is over, I'll be sharing you this PDF too. Correct? Yeah. And then the most important application level question is angle of deviation is directly proportional. This symbol means proportional to. One by meaning inversely proportional to. Angle of deviation is inversely proportional to what? Wavelength. So, we can see the diagram itself here. Clearly, we can see red is what? Red color. Let me just show it here. Red. This is the original line. Correct? Red is the least deviated color. Red is the least deviated color. So, it has got the maximum wavelength. Okay. According to what? If you just go down. Angle of deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength. So, if the angle of deviation is less, the wavelength will be more. If the angle of deviation is more, the wavelength will be less. Inversely proportional sense opposite to that. So, violet is the most deviated color. So, it has got the smallest wavelength. It has got the smallest wavelength. So, this is our first type of question which they can ask. Okay. Yes. So, these two diagrams is nothing but a recombination spectrum. The sense if I give white light, correct, to the prism, what is happening? Splitting of white light into its seven different constants will be happening. Correct? Then again, if I put one more prism, what I'll be getting on the screen? I'll be getting white light only. I'll be getting white light itself. Okay. So one is the normal prism. Second is inverted prism. Correct? So how I'll get in the first prism? I'll be getting the different colors, red to violet. But again, if the red to violet is passed into another inverted prism, I'll be getting what? The same white light on the screen. And then comes our most important. Let me check it now. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Any doubt is there once the class is over, I'll be helping it to you. Okay. It's not that important, but the one which I'm going to say is the most important thing. Total internal reflection. TAR. This is the most important topic. Correct? And if I read it from here, when light enters from denser medium to rarer medium and the angle of instant 60 critical angle light reflects in the denser medium. This is called internal, total internal reflection. Do you understand anything? Nothing. Correct? So for this, I'll tell you a simple example which is not there in the material. 
So if I take the light, correct, if I take light, light travels faster in air or water? It travel, light will travel faster in air, correct? So which is the rarer medium? Which is the rarer medium? Rarer in the sense, less denser. Water is my denser medium. Water is my denser medium and air is my rarer medium. Is it clear? Is this thing clear? If light is entering, for example, in this room itself, correct? Light can travel faster in air compared to that of water. Is it clear? Is this thing clear? So air is lighter or rarer? Rarer meaning lighter. Compared to water, is this thing clear? Let me know. Perfect. Then, if I ask you the next one, what about air, uh, air and diamond? Light travels faster in air or diamond? In air, we know speed of light is what? 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. But in diamond, the speed of light is what? 6 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Correct. So, speed of light in air is only 3 into 10 power 8. Speed of light in diamond is what? 6 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So, which it will travel faster? Diamond it will travel, light will travel faster. Now, I will come to TIR, total internal reflection. So, we have all seen, see, why diamond is so precious? See, one of the factors which we like about diamond is what? It's ability to reflect completely, correct? We can see the beautiful colors of diamond. Correct, the light reflections is beautiful compared to any other metal on the earth. That's the reason diamonds are costly too. But what is a phenomenon which makes diamonds so costly? TIR, total internal reflection. Total internal reflection because for diamond the for total reflection to happen light will travel from what denser medium denser medium is where from where light is coming from air so air is a denser medium and to where it is going diamond diamond is what my rarer medium so what happens that time what happens is all the light will get reflected back. That's the reason we can see the sparkling effect on diamond. So that is nothing but total internal reflection. Totally everything is reflecting back. Okay, now I'll come back to this. Total internal reflection. When light enters from denser medium. Denser medium here is what? Air. Air to rarer medium. Rare medium is what? Diamond. The angle of incident exceeds critical angle. Critical angle is nothing but the angle which is 90 degree. What is critical angle? Angle which is 90 degree. So what happens is that angle of incidence is more than 90 degree. It can be 120 degree, 130 degree or how much it can be. It is more than 90 degree. The light reflects. So the right light will reflect. This phenomenon is called what? Total internal reflection. So with the diamond example and the air example, it'll be it'll be very easy for you to remember and recollect. Is it easy now? Is this thing clear? Please let me know. Yeah, in the chat option, you can just message me. If it is clear, you can say yes, or else you can tell me no. So what I want to tell you in this total and reflection is nothing but when the light is entering from denser medium, that is in air, correct? To a, to a lighter medium, that is in diamond. So speed of light, we all know will travel faster in what? Diamond. So in diamond, we can always see what the light is getting totally reflected back into all areas, right? Correct? 
that phenomenon is called total internal reflection so this happens when the angle of incidence the light is coming in an angle of incidence right that should be greater than 90 degree you got the, only when it is greater than 90 degree that time only the sparkling of diamond or total internal reflection will happen now is it clear Let me know. Fine. So this is the most important difficult topic in uh, this full chapter, okay? Because we'll buy hard a total in reflection not knowing what is it. So always take a real life example and then study. It'll be easy for us. Now once you know the total in reflection, trust everything are very, very easy. Now coming to our rainbow. We all know rainbow has got what? Seven different colors, correct? How it is co coming? First one, we learned what? Dispersion. What is dispersion we learned? Splitting of white light into seven different components. Yes. Second thing what we learned? Total internal reflection. Then the last one is refraction. Refraction. So this also they can ask rainbow correct how how is rainbow is appearing not reflection refraction all these three phenomena are combining one is dispersion other is refraction and other is internal reflection total internal reflection atmospheric refraction okay so we know that in our atmosphere there are different layers, right? Stratosphere, correct? There are a lot of spheres are there. Then also on layer one sphere is there. Yes or, yes or no, correct? So what is atmospheric refraction? The name itself, the answer is there. The refraction by different layers of atmosphere. So when the light enters each layer, there will be a refraction. The refraction means what? Moving from the original angle of incidence. Deviation, slight deviation will be there from the original angle of incidence. Okay, so if you are still not clear with this, I'll just show you a diagram. See, can you, see, you can see here, right? You can see in the prism only here. Normally, how it should go? It should go straight, no? Correct, it should go straight. But there is a deviation, no? This is called refraction. The deviation is called refraction. Okay. It's not at all a big thing. It's a very small topic. So no need to take it as a huge thing. It's all silly, silly topics. And which is well below our level. So atmospheric refraction, even if you don't know the name itself, gives you the answer. The refraction by what? Different layers of atmosphere. That's it. Just add different layers in between. You'll get the answer. So some example of atmospheric refraction is as follows. So at night, we observe stars, right? Correct? Actually, what we observe and the actual position of the star is not safe. Or else if you're seeing the sun, you're seeing the sun or the moon, correct? To our eyes, it is that position. But actually, due to the atmospheric refraction, that is not the actual position of the sun. It's a slight deviation is there. You got the point. This is the other thing. Star. Apparent position. So what, what we see, we see it here, but actually where it is, somewhere else. That is due to what? Atmospheric refraction. That is due to what? Atmospheric refraction. So stars when seen near the horizon appears slightly higher than their actual position due to atmospheric refraction. Correct? So what we see and the real position is kind of different. That is namely due to what? Atmospheric refraction. Twinkling of stars and everything we can tell. Scattering effect. Scattering means what? We all know scattering. Scattering means what? Spreading. Spreading of light into various directions. And if you don't know what is colloid, I'll tell you what it is. Colloidal particles.
it will be better to if yeah better i will explain through this one yes so we can see in this figure what is it if i put a torch light correct the light is able to pass through it if it is a colloidal solution the light will be able, able to pass through it but if it is not a colloidal solution if it is a homogeneous solution the light won't be able to pass through it. see after this solution of water and red sugar is the light able to pass through it no but if you see through this through a colloidal solution it's able to pass through it the light is able to pass through a colloidal solution so, and that effect is called tyndall effect and that effect is called what tyndall effect so this also they can ask you in the examination remember the glass beaker yes remember the glass beaker yes not through the clear water colloids okay so colloids are not just the clear water i'll show you one more thing for the colloids thing Yes. So we can all see this sarbat and all, right? Correct. And we can see these particles also, no? Yes. The seeds. I don't know what the name of the seeds is actually. It's not coming to my mind. Correct. So these small, small particles can be termed as colloids. Basically. Okay. I think the uh, chia seeds, I think. So. I'm not sure about the seeds name. Uh, I think chia seeds. So this can also be termed as colloids. Okay, it's not just about clear water. Okay, but through a homogeneous solution, if it is a sugar solution, and all the light won't be able to pass through. So scattering again is inversely proportional to wavelength. Scattering effect. So if there is more, more scattering, less wavelength. More scattering, less wavelength. Less wavelength, more scatter. Same thing, what I told. So the, again, you have to remember this mathematical thing. Then some application level, anger signs are made in red color. Because obviously, red has got what? The least deviation, so more wavelength. Okay, so that's a thing. And color of, why does color of sky appears blue on a clear day? This question also can be asked for the examination. Because of what? The upper layer of atmosphere contains very five particles of water vapors of gases. These particles are more effective in scattering of light of shorter wavelength, mainly blue than the larger wavelength. So we just got the larger wavelength, the red color. Yes. So that is the reason our sky is appearing blue. So we would write it is as it is to get the full mark. Appearance of sky to an ast astronaut in the space, it will be dark in color because of the absence of particles. Because of high altitude, it will be dark in color because of the absence of the particle. And why does cloud appear white? So all of these things, you can just read it and get to know. I written in very simple words. So this is an important topic and the most important topic which I discussed today was total internal reflection. And then they will ask about the correction. Okay. Myopia, nearsightedness. Correct? Nearsightedness. Why it is happening? Excessive curvature of islands. Elongation of eyeball. How can we correct it? So in the myopic eye, the image won't fall on what the retina it will fall before the 
retina. You can see here clearly the image will fall before the retina. This is the retina. Image will fall before the retina. So how can I correct it? By using what? Concave lens. This kind of lens is what? Concave lens. So that I'll get it on the retina. This they will ask. Which lens to confuse you? Either concave or convex lens. Okay, this lens they will ask you to. And hypermetropia. Farsightedness. So this will be away from the you can see here, it's away from the retina. It's away from the retina. So we will use what convex lens. Press biopia. Okay. That is one more thing. Old person. Mainly it's happening what old persons. So they can't see the nearby objects due to loss of power of accommodation of the eye. You got the point. So this is due to the weakening of the muscles in the eye and eye lens. Our eye lens will lose its flexibility. So we have to again use what convex lens. So these things they can twist and ask. Correct? So for those people, we'll use bifocal lens for correction. Bifocal lens for correction. So that's it for the session.